It's me. Welcome back to. You gotta get us out of here, Mister. Joker, get the Normandy air on the double, Mister. On the double, Mister. On the double, Mister. ETA eight minutes. He needs to move faster. If I die in here, I'll kill him. Yeah, cl cl classic Rex. So last time we failed miserably. We had a good game plan going in, but we flubbed it in the end. In the football world, we call that a, uh, a mess up. Let's try to get it done, you know? Get Let's try to get her done, right, guys? Get her done. Classic saying. Also, I'm the type of guy, and you may agree or disagree with this, but I know we maybe messed up the conversation last time, but reloading to change our opinions kind of, you know, it kind of sours the immersion for me. In case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. Exhilarating, isn't it? Thanks so let's let's say the same things that we had before. Whatever it is you want, oh, you are I... not getting it from me. She'll stay with us, thanks. That was also key. Not an option. Kill them. Alright. Same game plan as before, just don't get absolutely flubbed up. Get get behind them. No, no, no. You're fine, dude. I've lost shields. Where did we get shot from on the side? I I still cannot believe all this. Saturn's looking for conduit. Joker, get the Normandy. I, I... He needs. To... Where did we get shot from on this? Some guy flanked us when we were trying to flank. That's like... That's tactics never... It's a, It's like, imagine if in the war between America and, and, and England for freedom, we started using guerrilla tactics, and then all of a sudden Spain came up from behind and used guerrilla tactics on us. It'd be like, who even are you? Why are you here? In case you didn't notice, this hey, thanks for getting rid of those Whatever things. it is you want, you are not getting it from me. Yep. Okay. So, let's try this one yet again. Overload. Sabotage. Marksman. Now we're going around this side because I am not falling for this one again. Excuse me. There we go. Okay. Now hide. Hide for your gosh dang life. Oh my god. Unity. No. Shield boost. You guys fight. I will perish like a dog. He's done it. Wait, no, he's just knocked out. This is our chance. Rex, you died for a worthy cause. <laughs> hey, I'm no Captain America, but we get the job done. What the heck is that noise? Oh my, that's so loud! Sorry, I had to lower it real quick. What? Are they throwing rocks out of there? No, it's just smoke, huh? We've done it. Oh, yeah, your fatigue really... Screwed up there, huh? No lie, if we can get some fatigue training, please let me know. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. 
All right, we fixed it. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry. Excuse our me, Mister. Our hull. Just for future reference. What is this weird we Star Wars? Your pilot is making jokes. It eases the tension. I'm not siding with Liara over Joker. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's a coping mechanism. You'll get used to it. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. All right. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or She's dragged me to Saren. Not in a weird so, way. You. Do you know something about the conduit? Just not like. That it was somehow connected to the can we get a screen grab of Ashley that right there? One hand was missing, and the other hand was in her thigh. Not in a sexual way. What happened to them? Well, I was not paying attention. Uh, real expertise, past fifty years. Okay, I know exactly what happened. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding. I had a dream. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of. Kru. It was Saren. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. How do you know this? Where do you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. Yeah, but I'm right. I've been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked She's down 50 every years old. and shred of evidence. Eventually, Plus? subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. She's basically calling us dumb. Everybody just wanted what you guys know. It is more a feeling derived from a half century of dedicated research. Dedicated but I wham. know I'm right. And eventually, I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. If the Protheans weren't the first, then we're not. Was. I mean, I'm not even going to be try hard. We're know. not in a rush here. There is barely any. We're in no rush to do Protheans, anything. Even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. The I mean, galaxy I is built on a cycle of extinction. Dude, Gareth is Each into her. Each great civilization rises up. It is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, the mass based relays. on the technology of those the who mass came before effect. Them. That's what Rex is thinking. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. Shut up and I'll tell you. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. <gasps> How do you know about the Reapers? The the Reapers? But I have never heard of. How do you know this? What evidence do I you saw have? it, Carl Dermot! Uh There was a damaged neutral beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision. No need to be mad, brain. no need to be happy. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions. Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user, finding one that still works. It was all Ashley's right? fault, right? No Either Ashley or Caden. Attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, nope. unclear. Not true, because I am a Prothean. I am. I am a pro. You were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. Hey, don't get on me in front of all these people, you weirdo. Okay, this isn't helping us find Sam Thank you. or the conduit. I agree. Of course, you are right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity. Yeah, got scientific the curiosity. curiosity. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the conduit. She wants to see my physiology. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. Stop and being weird. Knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. You don't need to talk to me Back one to one in front of all these people. When the fighting starts. Oh, I'll, absolutely. Good if Rex is on board, you're on board. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate or slept? Doctor Chakwa should take a look at you. Thank you, Kaden. Taking just care of this. Mental exhaustion. 
coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans. No, you feet, need to eat or I drink. I time to process all this. Still, I think, it not hurt to I don't know what the race does. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Go see the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed. Why the exclamation point? That's so Want aggressive. Me to patch you through to the council. Sure. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We I should have said no. Report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Don't tell me how to do my job. <laughs> That's what I like to see, baby. To offer guidance and advice. It's up to you if you're smart enough to listen. Liera's on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to Uh, yeah, we'll see about that one. Maybe she doesn't know. That's true, Solarian. We never expected He's also true. Traitor. At least the mission was. These guys are smart, at least. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. This guy hates us. Was that really necessary, Shepard? The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Yes. Of course, Commander. The mission must Dude, take the Solarian is on our side. Remember, we are all counting on you. Yeah, we'll see about that one. It's okay, you know, I'm not the type to be like. Oh, we got an achievement or something. We're not. I'm not the type of person to be like. Uh, any kind of person telling me how to do my job. F you. F the haters. No, I. You know, it's fine. But I'm gonna give it back to him. If he wants to give me a little sass, I'm gonna give some sass back. Some sassafras. Navigator Presley, looking good as always. All right, so we we got an achievement. We leveled up again, I guess. You know, honestly, I'm thinking maybe do more spectre training. It's like an all-encompassing upgrade. Let's make a hard save. Now what next on the docket? You know what? Let's take some time and talk to the other players on this uh, on this ship we call love. <laughs> so they're probably all in the bunker. Oh no, Caden. Uh, all right, we'll start. We'll start with the worst. Maybe. Well, Ashley's not here. So. Anything you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? Dr. Tassoni. Yeah, I'm more of a Microsoft guy myself. I knew he liked her. I mean, if you like the bookish sort. Any intentions there, Lieutenant? No, Commander. Just art appreciation. Oh, I don't know if that's like weird or kind of sweet. I think I'm leaning a little sweet, but you know, let me know in the comments below. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. That was a good little conversation. All right, now let's never talk to Caden again. Now, next up, we're we're doing something different. We're going second worst to worst. So Ashley Simpson, Amanda, uh, Marley. These are all names that fit. All right, Rex, hold on. Hello, Marge. You have a minute to talk. This duty related, Chief? No, sir. Well, She's gonna say she doesn't like to Sony. Maybe. I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, Oh I'm, boy, I'm here we go. The aliens, Vicarian and Rex. Who the heck is Vicarian? All due respect, Commander. Should they have full access to the ship? Hold on, I actually don't know who Vicarian is. Unless she's talking about Yara? I don't know. Don't mince words, Chief. Yes. What's your concern? Be honest with me. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons. Hmm. I'm, I'm not the type of person to be like, your ideas are wrong. Because... You know, although I don't agree with them, by just dismissing them, you just make it worse in the long run. I need to understand where this comes from. You don't trust the Alliance's allies? 
I'm not sure I'd call the council races allies. We, humanity, I mean, have to learn to rely on ourselves. Standing up for ourselves doesn't mean standing alone. Yes, correct. I don't think we should turn down allies. I just think we shouldn't bet everything on them staying allies. Sure, we, we aren't. As noble as the council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. Hmm. I actually kind of agree. But I think that's true of any race. <laughs> the council's had a grudge against us since the first contact war. I don't think it's a grudge. I think it's... Look, if you're fighting a bear and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. It's not racism, not really. Members of their species will always be more important to them than humans are. You sound like one of those terra firma party pamphlets, Chief. Terra firma is a pack of jackals. I don't even the know what that had means. Ideals. These days they just play off xenophobia and bigotry. I hope my reasons are more rational. My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. Don't say just shut up. I understand your feelings. All right. I can see where your concerns are coming from, William. But this yes. is a multilateral. Thank you, Shepard. He's the voice of Watch reason, aka me. me. It won't be a problem, Commander. You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Torian, I'll ask which cheek. Would you kiss anyone? I Never mind. That's not what I meant. Then, sir, if you ordered me to kiss a superior officer, that would be a violation of the regs concerning fraternization. That would make it an illegal order. I'd be required to decline and relieve you of command. Sir. This is the face I have right now is oh, what did I just say? <laughs> we'll talk later, Williams. Looking for I thought it was just gonna be like funny, but it was kinda it was kinda a little weird. Alright, Rex. Let's save Rex for next. Talk to everyone's fan favorite Mr. Garrus. How are you? Why did you want to be a C sec officer in the first place? It's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Like what? Probably the same as most officers. Oh, oh he's a great guy. Nothing wrong with Garrus. My father had something to do with it, too. He was CSEC, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing Even though he picture on talks in, like, the, the lowest voice I've ever seen. Her. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. That's tough. But you'd think he'd be impressed you're going after Sarah. Yes, true. My father's a C-Sec man to the bone. Do things right or don't do them at all, he said. He thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Sam. Wow, that must have been tough to hear, my guy. He talked me out of becoming a Spectre when I was younger for the same reasons. You were asked to be a Spectre? Well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I Ended up being sorry. Training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. Typical. Not all Spectres are like Saren, you know. Of course not. But Saren's not going to play by our rules. C-Sex rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted. This is exactly powers. why I agree 100 million percent. Like Garrus. We'll beat him at his own game. It's the only way to stop someone like him. I'm right behind you, Commander. That doesn't mean we have to go killing a bunch of innocent people. That just means if he's breaking and entering, we're breaking and entering. All right, Rex, what you got to say? So, we've got Saren on the run. It won't be long now. Saren's good. Yeah, Saren's good, but uh, we're better. He's rotten to oh. the core. I could tell as soon as I met him. Ooh, let's see. Let's sooner. dig in deep deeper. I would have if I thought it was important. I'll decide what's important. Now tell me how you know Saren. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the terminus. Ah, uh, yes, terminus. They said it paid well. I've been there. The boss was wink, never wink. around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men too. So I checked it out. 
I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Yeah, we did some illegal oh, shit, man. Oh, yeah. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. Oh, he's like a, a big school him. guy. Oh, I just wanted to make sure I got my extra credit. What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him, so I got the hell out. Rex is smart. Wait to get paid. He's got, he's got that gut, and I ain't talking about his belly fat. Whose ship was it? It was a Volus trading vessel. Volus. I don't know what Volus. Lots is. of guards, but they were no match for us. What kind of cargo was the freighter carrying? What was Saren after? Guns. I don't know. Oh. All I saw on that. He's trying to start a new race. Medical supplies. There were some basic weapons, but nothing With the big. Gap. If there was anything of value on that ship, I didn't see it. That's why I didn't mention it sooner. That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still looked mm. like he hadn't joined up with you. You just saw... But my instincts were right. Yeah. Every other merc on that mission... Oh my... Within a week. This is why you need Rex on our squad. So long, Rex. Shepard. Dude, Rex is... Ain't nothing but a G-thing. He is nothing else besides the biggest G on the ship. If I die, he's the new commander. Ar definitely arguable on that one. Actually, if I died, I would probably make... Um, I I'm getting confused on who's Tassoni and who is... Who is uh the girl with the mask? But we gotta figure this out. The girl that we usually run with this in the squad. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Oh, I guess it's just full. Ah, Liara. This is not who I was thinking of. Don't don't try to do some weird cheek rub thing. Are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? This Dr. feels Kavos like the um I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. I feel like this is the intended like love interest. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth commander. If you hadn't shown up, I, I had to save you. You can help me stop Saren. Yes. I know you took a chance. You have to be hard. Hard ass. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I, I can I to help trust you stop because Saren. I know that if you screw up, you're going to get shot in the head. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. That's what I'm saying on the outside and the inside. I'm like, if you let me down, you're done so. You're actually like, our team, we may die once. We may die twice. We may even die up to seven times in one video, but we get the job done. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. You must enjoy something. Sounds boring. <laughs> I, I just like, like shooting life. people. Seeking out history's lost secrets has a special appeal for me. You were actually touched by working Prothean technology. That is why I find you so fascinating, Commander. Please do not touch me. Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. What? No, I did not mean to insinuate. No, is it is sar uh, is sarcasm? We are. I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. <laughs> uh, no, that's even worse. Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. You weirdo. Joking? Oh, by the goddess, how could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. No, you're well, you know why just I prefer very to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. She's I always like a seem huge to say nerd. something embarrassing around other people. 
Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. All right. Good work, you freaking weirdo. Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? No, oh, we've I already talked to Chakwaz, Ch Chakra about everything that she needs. We got one more, one more person to talk to. I believe. I think the last person we need to talk to is in the um, like the main ship cargo hold thing. Excuse me. Should be maybe in here. No. That's the Star Wars 2 room. Hmm. Where is she? No, it's not here. Don't worry, I got my brain on straight. I'll figure it out. One day. Someday. By uh, the strokes. Don't talk about Stroke and the Arctisonia, right? Chat, you weirdos. That's not the correct way. Um, no, 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 no. You know what? It's... It's gotta be like this door, huh? Yeah, no. No, it's not this door. This is our room, huh? This is actually kind of a nice room. I would not mind this. But, you know, spoiler alert, this is where a lot of the... the PG-13 rated R stuff happens. Like, not... Not in a violent way, but in a, you know what I'm saying? As in a try-to-make-another-race kind of way, like, uh... What's it called? Siren. Siren. You know what? We have a map for a reason. Uh, Sleeping Pod Mess Hall. Can I... No... I'd like to move up, please. Deck three, deck one. I'm about to deck you. Mate, no. I feel like we've explored the entire ship. Why am I so bad with this stuff? This is gonna happen a lot. It's gonna be a lot of me getting lost. Airlock. That is how you leave. The bridge, combat information center, communications room. I, I guess the only place left is, in fact, the elevator, which is a little weird. Yes, yeah, it's, it's the engineering room. That's that's where we need to go. A hundred, a hundred dollars. That. The reason this character gets the least love is because no one can ever find her on a ship. Alright. So we gotta go around the elevator. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. We figured it out. Sam the core chart says. Tally! That's what we're thinking. Are you okay? I don't know. Your ship is amazing. And your crew's been really great to me. Oh, because there's no one like you around here. But I just sort of feel out of place. The Normandy runs so smooth, it feels like we're not even moving. And the engines are so quiet. Is her, is her place? Sleep at night? Is her, like, where she grew up and stuff? Is it really loud? Is that the insinuation here? You'll get used to it. But it's more than just a silence. This ship feels uh, so I empty. actually agree. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. Hmm. Sometimes we don't appreciate what we have until it's gone. True. That's true. I would have said that. It's the grass is greener situation. That's what the pilgrimage is really about. It's given me a whole new perspective on my people and our culture. You know, there's always a few who go on their pilgrimages and never return. I always assumed something bad happened to them. But maybe they just wanted a different life. You do plan to return to the migrant fleet. The migrant fleet. I'd love I to go to her place. My people, her planet. I will go back eventually. But we have to stop Seren first. Otherwise, 
I might not have a home to go back to. Um. Tell me about your people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our Horns. lives aren't easy. Resources are scarce, and we are constantly on the move. Everything we do must in some way contribute to the continuation of the migrant fleet. There are 17 million Quarians in the flotilla, and each of us relies on the others for survival. The bonds among my people are strong. Ashley would fit in with these people. We have had to surrender many of the freedoms and civil liberties other species take for granted. Let's change topics. I don't like talking about change. What kind of freedoms? Well, it's illegal for parents to have more than one child. Mm. If our population grows too much, it would strain our resources to their breaking point. Of course, we also can't allow our numbers to become too few. If our population is in decline, the rule against single births is temporarily repealed. That's weird. In extreme cases of population decline, how fast does your population change? Are even offered to encourage multiple births. Though the Conclave hasn't had to take such measures in nearly a century. The Conclave? I didn't know you were a fan of Fallout. That's your government. The Conclave is our civilian branch of government. Each ship can elect a representative to serve on the Conclave and make decisions that affect the fleet as a whole. On matters that affect an individual ship, however, the captain has the final say. It's a tradition that dates back to the early days, when the fleet was governed by martial law. Fortunately, most captains nowadays are smart enough to oh have my an elected God. council from their crew to give them advice and guidance. We really found ourselves a keeper, boys. So the ultimate power rests with elected officials. This is In practice, this is straight out of and the Star Wars Episode One. Everyone talking so much. Govern our daily lives, but in theory, we are still under military jurisdiction. The five top-ranking military officials in the fleet serve on the Admiral's board. These five have the power to overrule any decision by the Conclave in case of emergency. To do so requires unanimous agreement among the Admirals. I'm listening, but and they can only do this once. Well, this probably doesn't tie into what we're doing. I'm a man with a plan. I'm a plan you'll stammer. centuries, the Admiralty Board has only overruled the Conclave four times. Wow. I should go. I should leave. See you later. Good luck with your loneliness. Alright, and the last thing I wanted to do was to head to the Council and let them know about something yeah Kahaku Citadel Tower okay Admiral Kahaku it's me Shepard I'm here to let you know that we killed all your Marines please pay me or I will kill you too now uh this is gonna sound like a good question how do we get back to the council? Eden Prime? I, I understand Eden Prime. I don't... See, the, the, the disconnect here is where is Eden Prime? No, never go to this place again. That was an awful experience. Novaria Pinnacle Station, maybe? Or I guess... No, the Citadel. Widow... Yeah, that sounds about right to me. Oh. Message coming in. Oh boy, here we go. Matching it through. Commander Shepard, my name is Nasana Dantius. I have a job for you. I can't say anymore. In an this is a weird way to give. If you're interested in hearing my side quest, meet me on the Citadel so we can talk in person. I'll be waiting in the diplomat's lounge. Oh well, this is perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to the place where we get lost the most. Dude. The Normandy kind of looks like a geth. Let me know how you feel about that one. Triangle head, eyeball. You know? You know what I'm saying? Anyways, let's, uh... Use this elevator. Let's go talk to you. Admiral Kahaku. Admiral Akbar, it's a trap, etc. Head lead. 
Had load monitor. He had so much experience. Jeez Louise. Liara, so Liara is all biotic. She's all psychic ability. And Tali is all tech. Interesting. Interesting. Can we max out? No, there's no way to max out tech strength. There's no way to max out anything, huh? Oh, maybe. No, no, no. It probably goes up based on how much you actually put into their abilities. Interesting. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Atmosphere. Logged. The command. Don't give me a kiss and hug and kiss. We should also take time to. Master Carnage, by the way. Um, to upgrade everybody's abilities. I know that even though we're running with this squad, it is important to have a full squad of people all locked up. So I'll probably end up doing that too. Throw in stasis. Stasis doesn't seem super good. I guess it's like you stall someone and then like kill everybody around them. That would have been kind of useful from the last one. You also need basic armor. Nationals. Shield capacity. Honestly, if we just upgrade shield capacity, isn't that basically the same as upgrading armor? I don't know, man. Seems good to me. Ending officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, Exo Presley. <laughs> Rear Admiral Mihailovic, Fifth Fleet. Commander Shepard, SSV Normandy. You don't know who I am, do you, Commander? Oh, no, I command evil. the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. Then the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship and you. So he's saying he wanted us to work with him, but the they, the council got us first. I wasn't keen on it either, but there are advantages to being above the law. Don't let the title go to your head. No one's above the law. All I right. don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the council. It's an opportunity. All right, I, this I guy's a straight man. We gotta be honest with him. Piece of tin, though. You don't approve of the Normandy's design. This Dude, if you want to upgrade our billions our ship, our go ahead. Bills. For the same price, we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developer. Oh, this guy's an actual racist. I'm here to make an inspection, <laughs> Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. We'd be honored to show her to you, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here. I won't be long. This guy's going to sabotage us. Li I've never Commander, been. I'm not happy. I've never been more sure of anything. Sounds like a fairly common situation. Commander, oh. I suggest you secure your mouth. It's going to I'm going to kick in you in yours. Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? There are no amateurs on this crew. They know to keep idle chat Hell in yeah. combat, and I can bellow with the best DIs. A fair point. I he actually agreed. Design has no chance of becoming standard. No need to worry about a generation of recruits learning things pass backwards. I have to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12. Yeah, but where are we gonna get the fight? How are we gonna get the fighters around? Hide for a few hours anyway. Useless. Men of limited vision said the same thing about early aircraft, submarines. Oh, keep hitting him! I could take that, Commander, but that is true. I suppose the early U boats weren't much better. And we need to talk about your crew. Oh, don't even start. Krogan? Asari? Torians? What are you thinking, Commander? <laughs> that cut. You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment. Ah, uh, we're not evil enough to say that. Between Saren and the Geth, we have enough enemies out here. Treating other species with suspicion and distrust... Yeah, being a hippie is not going to win this guy over here, though. That assumes the hearts and minds are worth winning. That hasn't Damn, I wish we were a little more evil. Do you have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? No! 
None, sir. Very well. I don't agree with any of this, but your reasons seem sound. I'll be submitting a report to the Joint Military Council. At least we won him over. He is negative, as I planned. Good hunting, Commander Shepard. Make us proud. We won him over. That's how you... You just get in there. You level up. Easy as pie. Dude, that is sick as hell. Screw it. We need more unity. You never go wrong with unity, baby. Woo! Okay, you need combat armor. You may now equip heavy armor. Heck. Yeah, we might actually go and shop for some heavy armor. You, honestly, just keep going with the quarry machinist. Machinist. Great movie, by the way. Alright, and honestly, that'll do it for this episode. A, a very interesting end. I was not expecting us to have a conversation with the, the most stick-in-the-mud man I've ever met. But we won him over. We took the stick out of the mud, wiped him off. He was still a little dirty, but he wasn't nearly as stuck. Thanks for watching. New episodes every single day at around 12 o'clock. Expect to see you again tomorrow. That's it.